All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, you know, woke up a little late because you know I accidentally spent too many shards and bit heroes, so I wound up sleeping at like 1:30 a.m. and I still didn't finish it. So now, I'm still trying to burn through it now because like, okay, I really need to sleep. So I had to. And a rare miscalculation on my part, but it just goes to show that I'm just getting tired. Also, I think I'm just finally done watching all the damn programming and playmaker tutorial. So I'm hopefully finally going to start working on the game tonight. The first thing I'm thinking I'm going to do is go on the asset unity store, get some tile maps, and then just design my level. Because without the ground, then where do I put my character on? And then also probably, it depends on how long it takes me. You know, maybe I'll also look at, you know, some kind of like workable uh you know player character because that'll be you and you'll be moving around and then of course i attach the camera to it shouldn't be too hard but um <clears throat> yeah because yesterday i was watching a guy uh, who had a more advanced uh playmaker series where you go from playmaker to c sharp and oh my god it is so much faster to just use playmaker there's no way in hell i want to code all that shit for it. and then playmaker pretty much does the same exact thing so the less coding i have to do the better essentially that's probably what actually a lot of the big game companies out there in the world do and then the reason why you have so many employees is because you need people to do the artwork and then you still have to do some scripting and coding but um you know if you can get away with not having to do it then you know you're you're, you're you know you're tamaguchi here all right so the good news is now that we started a little bit early it's been an hour and 15 minutes i also have to deal with my stock market account because for some reason they just keep depositing fucking money and i checked my bank and i was like oh shit i'm all out of money uh in the checking account so i had to you know re uh you know add more shit so yeah if this thing continues going on for much longer you know we're all of us are not because i'm actually really well tight i'm like super cash liquid and if i might be considering a problem i mean i won't have a problem at least for another now it's a two years right that means everyone else is going bankrupt and then that means i'm not going to be fine anyway so that that's really bad it's really bad i mean yeah but maybe i could buy like an apartment building in new york city for like five bucks but i mean at that point i mean that probably means where uh, the government has broken down so but the good news is it looks like uh bad things that were supposed to happen don't seem to be uh too bad so let's just get right into it because i didn't do any of the research I'm just diving right in because we're you know a little stretched on time. Damn it, no set item. My god, this thing is like impossible to get a freaking set item. Bitcoin searches for last week is finalizing at 20, so it's actually skyrocketing. So interestingly enough, uh, after coronavirus, everyone just decided to go into cryptocurrency. So that's a very good bullish sign. The problem is we still have to wait for coronavirus to pass, right? You know, uh, Trump and, you know, most people in the governments are working pretty hard to uh, deal with the issue. Yeah, I look pretty dark because of, yeah, it's 10.46 a.m. It's cloudy. I'm, I'm not going to, I don't want to waste electricity. So, uh, so we're doing everything that we can government wise. So, uh, so now my bigger concern is actually shutdown risk because we're, we have too much shut, uh, shutdowns. So, uh, let's see. But the good news is it looks like the markets are finally saying Trump's going to recover. So. Things are looking good. And things were also looking pretty bad last night because Asian stock markets tanked like 5% Australia and Korea, or South Korea. But now it looks like things are going well. So Bitcoin down is at 65.4%. 24-hour volume is a modest 149.5 billion. Bitcoin has recovered actually to 61.76. Very good, very good. Litecoin has also recovered to 37.90. So basically everything, for the most part, is going uh, on the upswing. It's not a lot, but we're not asking for much. Right now, what we want is survival. We don't want things to go down any further because it's just going to it's gonna completely kill my stocks right here because I just want my money back. All right. <clears throat> so I'll take it because the stock futures yesterday, last Sunday night before I went to bed, it, was, it had the Dow down to 18,180. It was really bad. So I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be 66% correction territory. So far, it seems to be resisting very heavily at the 33% mark, which is basically uh, where everybody is right now. So hopefully, it will continue to resist. Right, but they can't hold out much longer if we don't improve coronavirus situation uh, sooner. Uh, Dogcoin to 17.4 million market cap, so it's doing all right. It's pretty much neutral. Uh, Steam is holding pretty steady at 17.81 cents. 
Uh, I guess before we forget, uh, basically what's happening is everyone's supporting Hive, but they're also supporting Steam. So for so basically for me, I'm going to be able to lease on dlease.io both Hive and Steam. Uh, if we go to... Oh, I don't have it open here. Uh, dlease.io. Now I read it directly. Yeah, I, re I read it directly from the build team thing. Uh, Steam Boater. I don't know. That thing doesn't seem to work. Read our blog here. So on their blog on dlease.io, uh, Steam Hive Services Roadmap. So this was printed two days ago. Today will be somewhere around the three day mark, so two and a half days ago. Build team is committed to blah, 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 blah. You can read this whole thing if you want, but basically what they're saying is they're going to support uh, both Hive and Steam, and then they'll do both. Uh, and then they're implementing it. And then blocktrades.us is going to do the same thing. However, you want to trade Hive, they're going to require KYC, uh, specifically for Americans. Uh, I don't, they didn't say anything about non Americans. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, for legal purposes, I can't give you advice for that, uh, you know, so. But it doesn't sound as bad uh, if you really sit down to think about it, okay? In fact, a lot of people in the 404 coin Discord have already figured out how to trade on Crex, right? And I'm just going to leave it at that, all right? You know, so. Because remember, Crex has an IP ban on America, Canada, Israel, and I forgot the fourth country. Oh, Great Britain, right? Remember. If you're accessing Crex, the computer has to be not in those four countries. All right, and then it's a, something a little similar is happening with Dealey. So that's all I'm gonna say. All right, uh, so yeah. But I mean, if you really need that kind of help, just go on the 4-4 coin Discord. All right, in fact, I pinned it to my profile, uh, 404 JMC. I'm active on the 404 because I just can't be bothered to like report or anything. I want to have my game out. Like I'm gonna be managing like a million fucking things, and I also have to create my Reddit for my game. So, uh, turns out I actually need karma. So uh, I, I gotta farm my karma. Uh, in fact, you'll you'll see it here. Um, Reddit karma for you subreddit. Let's see. Yeah, this is the one. All right, so I found this on a Google search. Uh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that's not bannable. Okay. Jesus Christ. Luckily, it's not bannable either, but uh, I cannot find mine here. I think it's probably somewhere in the bottom, but I'm still getting some karma for it. Oh yeah, Baby Yoda could be a good meme. I could farm some uh, good karma from that. Oh wow, I'm actually uh, at the bottom somewhere. There's a nice dog. Karma. Yeah, people really are adhering to the uh, one thing, one post per 24 hours rule. All right. Well, I guess that's good because it's you know I'm, I'll follow the rules because the fact I'm getting free karma is pretty. Oh wow, there's a maple story thing here. Really, this thing got votes? I know, you can hear me furiously hitting my scroll wheel going down. Uh, come on, where is one of those ta tag not for sleeper? Oh, wow. Jeez, all right. Uh, I'm just going to open it up here. Where, where's, where's my Reddit thread? Oh, where's my F Reddit thread? Uh, here we go. All right, I just we just can't whatever. Also, I thought this was pretty funny. But the guy who made King of the Hill and Office Space and all of those funny, yeah, this is a social distancing thing. <laughs> so, yeah, I percent. I don't know, how can people fucking download this? It's like so stupid. Like people are such assholes. But anyway, let's see. I got ten karma. And I got ten posts and three cut. Oh, nice! I got up to three. So apparently, I need like fifty total karma or fifty post karma and maybe some comment karma. But basically, it should be pretty easy on this site because this this subred just gives you free karma. All right, there's require that you do a little bit. So all I do is I just steal memes from Twitter, right? Memes 2020 search. I find something that I think looks pretty good and I just post that. So that's where I got this one from. So uh, yeah, so I'm farming my karma so I can get my uh, account so I can start creating my subred for my game. So yeah. Um, yeah, so Steam, So in other words, but yeah, Steam is, you know, rock solid. It's just going through a transition phase. And now we have two 
uh, income stream. So now Justin Sun can do whatever the hell he wants with Steam, right? And it'll probably actually be pretty good, uh, believe it or not, because all the people who don't like centralization have moved to Hive, and that's what we have. So now we just do both. See, it's important to always keep an open mind, because now I have the best of both worlds, decentralization and centralization, right? Tron and Justin Sun and Hive, which is the actual true decentralization. So if either community fucks us in the ass without our consent, you know, we'll have the other as a backup. So, and it looks like the free market has agreed that, you know, everything's Tamaguchi here. So, hey, I, I'm, no complaints for me. I'm very glad. All right. So, uh, now the thing is, it's still pretty early in the day. So, it's possible that, you know, things will tank. However, this is pretty good. I mean, the thing was pretty low today. It was pretty bad. Now it's recovered a bit. Now it could still go down a lot towards 66% correction territory. So uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, RF is down just a little bit. Uh, Rebel, it was supposed to go down on Friday, but for some reason it was skyrocketing. So now it's finally catching up to what it should be worth. I still actually made a profit. So if I sold these... Uh, if I sold these shares, I could actually still make a little... Actually, I'm not sure if I could sell these shares because I'd be in violation of the Regulation T thing from the IRS or SEC. Uh, but yeah, it's worth more. But um, obviously, if this thing continues to drop, right, the markets continue to die, uh, we're not going to be fine for much longer. Um, the other issue is the shutdown is actually starting to cause some severe... Uh, it's it's going to cause a Great Depression, essentially. Right? I'm not talking 2008, I'm talking the actual 1932, because unemployment is going to skyrocket to 30 to 50%. It's already headed, uh, sky. it's already barreling towards hell towards those numbers. You know, we're going to have mass suicides, we're going to have riots and all that stuff. And the problem is, in New York City, we have to do the lockdown, because we're, you know, our fucking cases, we're testing everybody now, apparently, or at least a lot of the suspected people. And our case, we now consist of, like, what, 46 or 50? We're the majority, essentially, of all coronavirus cases in America, but the rest, with the other big majority in California. So, <laughs> it's, yeah. Uh, Fed announces unprecedented moves. Uber CEO seeks help for workers in U.S. corona. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so part of the problem is the stimulus plan, the stupid fucking Republican Party, Mitch McCuckle and all the fucking assholes in the establishment, they were trying to bail out all their corporate buddies again, so that's why the Democrats got mad. Uh, now, that being said, the Democrats have their own ulterior motive, according to Mike Cernovich. So, um, but what are you going to do? Uh, <clears throat> Fed makes aggressive move to back corporate debt markets Main Street. Okay, so we want to know what it is that they're doing. All right, so here's their third uh, stimulus. Unveiling a number of new, this is not the direct relief payments plan that we're you know, gonna be looking at. Also, the new bill that GOP did propose anyway, it did actually include 2009, uh, uh, 2019 filing, and if you did not file, they'll use your 2018, which is how it should have been. Uh, and then I would have gotten my full $1,200 check. So at least the, steam, the relief plan is moving in the, um, in the right direction, so. I can't wait for my Trump bucks, all right? I, I, I can't wait for my Trump bucks. Federal Reserve call emerge. Oh, I read that. Uh, we expand the Fed's effort to calm the corporate debt market. The Fed also is set directly in front of the Main Street business will be announced soon. Terminal continue in corporate financing. Fed scope, blah, 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 blah. Uh, here's their Main Street, blah, 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 blah. Fed impact. Estimates of measures will cost about $300 billion in financing new businesses. Uh, well, great uncertainty. Da, 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 da. The Fed announced it was suspending its previous guidance in quantitative easing, which sought to buy at least $500 billion U.S. Treasuries and some other stuff. The Fed now says it will purchase securities in the amounts needed and will also expand the scope of the purchases, including agency commercial mortgage backed securities. So if this is what I think it is, I think they're actually going to start buying uh, commercial real estate. So that's good. The mortgages backed by commercial real estate uh, is very important because basically it's just going to be over. All right, because if you had just bought an apartment building like I wanted to, and then coronavirus happens, you're not going to have a lot of cash and reserves, and then people are start defaulting on rent, and then you're fucked. So I'm hoping that's what this is because I see the keyword here. The prefix commercial mortgage-backed securities. They didn't say residential. 
Uh, so, Central Bank also unveiled a private market corporate uh, what that would directly purchase eligible corporate bonds from investment grade issuers in addition to secondary. Okay, that would buy corporate bonds and secondary, which would include. Uh, okay, uh, basically, it's some kind of weird fancy bond shit. Well, probably will last until September 30th, 2020. The Far East corporate credit conditions have also reduced the pricing of its previous announced efforts to buy. Commercial paper expanded the program to high quality tax exempt. Uh, what? To further ease corporate credit conditions, the Fed also reduced the pricing of its previous announced. Oh, commercial paper. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So basically, uh, corporations like the billionaire type corporations, they actually have. Um, uh, liquidity problems, believe it or not. So, in the very, very short term, in order to make payroll, there's something called the commercial paper market. So you get very little interest, but because the you know the billions are floating around or whatever, there's actually a secondary market for it called the commercial paper market. This is, this is the only reason I know about it is because I learned about it back in uh, finance college. So you know, basically, uh, the Fed is now going to, I guess, uh, start buying that up so people could get, so companies can still make payroll, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and the reason why they have this is because a lot of co uh, corporations like to operate on like a 30, 60, or even 90 day pay cycle. So basically all the money that is owed doesn't even move until one, two or three months later. So what do you do in between the 29, 59 or 99, uh, 59 or 89 days where you're not receiving any cash flow. <laughs> so that's why there's a commercial paper market. The wake of coronavirus, the Fed had already slashed interest rates to zero, announced one trillion liquidity support markets and coordinated with blah, 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 blah. Because uh, of the virus. Da, 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 da. For example, I have floated Main Street. Okay. Because the Fed has had the authority to take on corporate bonds and a balance sheet. It's worked with the US trade to open special purpose vehicles that then purchase through all these weird things. Under the Fed's authority granted by Section 13.3 of the Federal Reserve Act, Central Bank then lends to the SPV to support the vehicle's purchases. Blah, 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 blah. The Tal Elf is also structured as a special purpose. Okay. The Fed was a uh, decision of the US among the voting members of the Fed, uh, FMO, FOMC. The next, the next FOMC meeting is April 29th. So this is... Um, this is where the chairman of the Federal Reserve and I think the other 12 or 7 board governors, I forgot how many Federal Reserve branches there are. Federal Reserve branches total, USA. Uh, there are 24 branches, okay, maybe I meant, yeah, it should be 12 governors. Maybe Federal Reserve branches, okay, so Federal Reserve governors, USA total. It should be 12 plus the chairman. Uh, okay, I was wrong. It was seven. I thought that was seven, but for some reason I thought twelve. That's probably because I thought the old the old Federal Reserve branch system was twelve, and I assumed the governor was there was a governor for each branch. That's probably why. All right, so there's seven members. I think this includes. I think this also includes the Federal Reserve Chairman. I think his uh, Jerome Powell, right? Yeah. So the FOMC meeting is just the meeting between the governors and the chairman. So all seven of them. All right, very good, very good. So a lot of lingo, but the poor, the important thing is they're going to be, you know, buying up shit. Uh, my God, this looks pretty bad though. Uh, Remel is going to take a pounding. It's not too. Much. See, this is this is this is compensating for Friday's boom. So once this chaos settles, it should be, it should be the same as around RF. You see, it's going down, but not by too much. That's what we want. So. I don't know. This like the Dow and every and the markets go down to like sixty six percent. So basically, ten thousand Dow, whatever the S and P is going to be. Yeah, if everything here drops by half. Oof, oh man, that's going to be some severe damage. JMC coins at five to six, so not too much changes there. Uh, four four is at sixty seven. Not too much going on there. Uh, I guess if you're willing to be patient, you could try getting it for seven. Uh, it has an okay amount at seven, but not, not nothing to write home about. Two by two is at 60 to 62 or 59 to 62. So it's holding pretty steady. Uh, I like that very much. Dog coin or compound coin 5300 to 57.88. So it's looking pretty good for a compound coin as usual. It's pretty stable. So yeah, I, it works for me. Um, excuse me. 
excuse me. Hmm. Uh, that, they'll, they'll, that's a stupid idea. You're, you're never going to have a trillion dollar. It's like it's like when they used to propose the one trillion dollar note, bank note from America. It's just it's just stupid. Uh, because how would you break that up for anything? It's it's. I, I don't even want to discuss because it's just so stupid. There's a reason why bills are denominated one fifty cents, two dollars, three dollars, five dollar bill, ten dollars. All right, because well. It's about, uh, what is it called when they call it Bitcoin um, with the eight decimals? Gra gra granularity, right? It needs to be granular, right? So Kelly Loffer, the ex-CEO of Exchange Buck, I thought her name sounded oddly familiar. Her husband runs NYSE. So, oh yeah, so God's definitely going to make sure that she's not going to lose her job. Uh, but yeah, she was doing insider trading before the coronavirus shit, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, she went to Tucker Carlson. She did an okay uh, defense of herself and of course you have Richard Burr who did the actual hardcore retire trading but no one gives a shit now so so <laughs> they, they make billions at my expense you no know? but can I get really can I really get angry I mean I've gotten over it right you know as long as Remmel and RF don't tank too badly right that's like whatever you know I'll we'll eventually get the money back but you know I really would have liked to have made millions of dollars too you know um, Tech giant Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and although and the only reason why I'm giving a free pass is because I remember specifically doing the Bitcoin video on Kelly Loeffler. So very pro Bitcoin, very pro cryptocurrency. So that's how I'm gonna get my fucking bailout. Tech giants Apple and Amazon, Microsoft. Okay, so I might actually read this just for the thing. Uh. Okay, yeah, I don't know why COVID idiots is trending. I saw it trending on Twitter, but it's just this retarded hashtag. All right, but the big news is this. Uh, Trump was at 46, then was, okay, so it's still going up and down. Okay, so it's actually a work in progress, but Trump's is slowly improving on the odds. That's what we care about. Um, this is why we need borders. Yes. Trump has finally figured it out. Uh, okay, we don't care about the New York Times. Um, we know that we're asking Americans to do... Uh, I just want to read this before... Um, okay, yeah, I, I don't care. A lot right now. So we're asking everyone to be selfless for us. Notice the, notice the smooth, uh, calm music. <laughs> others so that we can protect those who are most susceptible to this virus. A question I often get asked is why should young people care about the spread of coronavirus? Well, we know that people with underlying medical conditions over the age of 60 are at highest risk, but they've got to get it from somebody. Social distancing is really physical separation of people. It's what we refer to when we ask people to stay at least six feet apart. Not going to bars, not going to restaurants, not going to theaters where there are a lot of people. It all just means physical separation so that you have a space between you and others who might actually be infected or infect you. We all have a role to play in preventing person-to-person -person spread of this disease, which can be deadly for vulnerable groups. For more information on how you... Yeah, we know about that. I want to thank all Americans for pulling together, for coming together, for doing what they have to do. It's been in. There you go. Finally, this is this right here is extremely important because now he's finally done it. 
this is exactly why we had voted for Trump. That's why we need borders, because we don't have borders. That's why we're all fucking infected. And what's the, what's America going to say now? It's like, you know what? Trump is right. I may, not, I may despise his guts, but because we had open borders, we had all this fucking disease. And I can't get food. I can't get hand sanitizers. My kids are asking me, Mom, Dad, why is there no food at the grocery market? Where's your virtue signaling now, you know? <laughs> Nowhere. Incredible. It's been inspirational. All over the world they're watching, but all over the world they also have problems. It's in over 120 countries. It's called the invisible enemy, and that's what it is. It's an invisible enemy. But we're doing tremendous work. Uh, the truckers, the doctors, the nurses, uh, everybody. Oh, by the way, once the fake news terrorist media says, you know, oh, you can't have borders. Yeah, well, what are you gonna, people are going to get so angry. It's like, what the fuck? You gave us coronavirus, fake news terrorist piece of shit. Fuck you. <laughs> so. Doing tremendously. And of course, you've heard it a thousand times. Wash your hands, good hygiene, all of that. But social distancing. Keep away. It's going to have a <clears throat> place to go. And I just want to thank you. As president, I want to thank you for the incredible job you're all doing. This spirit in our country like never before. We are really, we pull together as a unit. We pull together as a country. <clears throat> we will prevail together. We love the USA. Yeah. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. So Trump uh, is catching up. So it should be. So it's getting warmer, and there's clear because right now in Florida they don't really have much of a shutdown. In fact, a lot of young people are at the beaches are just you know screwing around the beaches. Uh, you don't really hear too much coronavirus stuff. So definitely, once it gets warmer, we're going to be very good. Um, <coughs> so I just have residual coughing effects, and because. You know, because I've noticed now that I'm getting a little older. When I get sick, I get better, but then it takes a couple of days, at least for the lingering cough, to go away. It's very annoying. So before we go to the direct stimulus plan stuff, where are we at? 27 minutes. I want to look up weather New York City. I want to make sure this dumbass shit doesn't, it's like, hey, here's your address. Here's an ad for where you live. This is the neighborhood you live in. Would you like to buy some meat? All right, and they fucking dox me, and it's like pisses me off. All right, I gotta make sure there's no personal ID stuff. Okay, very good. So here is uh, New York City ten day weather. Uh, it's getting warmer, thank God, uh, but still be it's still gonna be a little bit. So the good news is it's actually starting. It's, it's predicting a lot of rain. I think right now it's raining. It's definitely cloudy because of you know worldwide condensation. When it goes from cold to hot and hot to cold, when they meet, you get condensation. When it happens on a worldwide scale, that's why it rains so much. Also, because of that, that's also why we have hurricane seasons, right? Uh, the Spanish folks call it uh, El Nino and El La Nina or something like that to denote uh, the winter into spring and fall into winter hurricane seasons or whatever. Uh, or rather, summer into fall or some shit. So, uh, yeah. So, this is actually a good sign because that means it's starting to get warmer. Because right now it's cold, now it's getting warmer, they clash, now we get a lot of rain. Uh, and since everyone's already locked down anyway, most people would have spent their time indoors anyway. So it's uh, it's actually good timing, and thank God. Now if we go to Florida, right? Uh, I gotta make sure, okay, I don't, I don't even know what any of this is. Uh, okay, if we go to weather, uh, Miami, 75 degrees. All right, so very good side. The The light is at the end of the tunnel. I just have to hope that the markets can kind of just not tank the markets too badly. All right, because as much as I want to buy more Remmel, uh, I mean, if it's like 50 cents to a dollar, I actually would have to start worrying about uh, this thing being, you know, uh, a call to write or whatever Credit Susie called it, all right? But it's basically a mandatory redemption. All right, so let's see what they did with the fucking stimulus uh, or Trump bucks plan that they screwed over. Senate had arms over makeup of relief plan, blah, 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 eight hours. Johnson says he opposed direct payments to individuals amid panic. All right, who the fuck is this piece of shit? See, it's always these fucking asshole uh, uh, Republicans, right? Especially the establishment ones. You have good ones like Josh Hawley, 
who do want to give us direct money. That's why he's up there. Paul Gosar also, I think, wants to give us direct money. But this stupid fuck, of course, he's a Republican, is like, yeah, yeah, we're not giving anybody any free money, but let's just give all free money to the businesses. This is why everybody hates the Republican Party and why uh, conservatives just lose at every fucking thing. And they do it on purpose because all they care about is money and they fuck you and me up the ass. Meanwhile, us actual good conservatives like, I guess, you and me, uh, and Nick Fuentes and the like, you know, we're all just like, what the hell? So, I don't know, like, once I get my game going, I gotta, like, figure out, like, this culture war shit, because I honestly cannot rely on the stupid fucking fake right and the grifter right to help me out. And then I'm gonna have to figure out something on how to deal with the Republican Party and just purge the entire Republican Party and replace it with my own type of people. Um, now, the problem with that is it requires so much effort... Um, and quite frankly, people will just be like, you know what, why not just vote Democrat at that point? Like, I don't actually have a good answer for that, because, yeah, they're right. Well, just vote Democrat and just leave the assholes of the Republican Party, which fucks you and me over. So what do we do, you know? Uh, but I'm thinking maybe decentralization will be a, a key to that. All right, so I don't want to dig through this because I just want to end this video. Uh, but it looks like not too much more happening. Uh, there appears to be, uh, oh, Trump now recognizes, oh shit, I didn't know he treated this. Trump now recognizes that the, um, shutdown risk is a big problem. Oh my God. Uh, oh my God. Yes. Alright, this is gonna really piss off a lot of people too, because a lot of people don't like Mike Cernovich, but good, because fuck them. They're the ones saying racist shit to me on my Twitter. They're questioning my, uh, am I legal? Like, I actually had a boomer conservative racist fucktard actually say that. I think it was kind of a bot too. So, uh,. Yeah, this is it. This is good. This is good. All right. I like it. I like it. And tr a Trump, a Trump retweeted because I didn't see this. And I didn't want to bother digging through his shit. So this is why we need borders. And this is why, you know, cure cannot be blah, 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 blah. All right. So everything's good. Um, I don't know. I haven't seen Trump indicating that he wants to do like an executive order. But I think eventually we should all get our Trump bucks at some point. Um, we'll have to just see what Nancy Pelosi decides to do. Because every, because they all know at this point we all want the direct relief plan. So I think we're definitely going to get that. And the fact that the Republicans were st still caved and said, okay, we'll let people do 2019 taxes, you know, if their income was lower. They still have the stupid means-tested bullshit, but at least they finally qualify for full Trump bucks. All right, so, uh, you know what? Um, yeah, this is actually going to be the thumbnail. We're going to make sure that's the thumbnail. Also, I think I can do another uh, raid here. All right, so let's do that. <clears throat> uh, tech giant, Amazon, da -da 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 -da, Marvel. Okay, so Tim Cook of Apple says they're going to find medical supplies and healthcare providers. And they're donating millions of masks and help around the U.S. and Europe to every one of these, blah, blah, blah. Uh, they're also helping, uh, helped Italy when the country hardest hit by COVID-19 or making substantial donation, including medical supplies to da, 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 da. Yes. While the iPhone maker is reaching out, Broad Cook emphasized that Apple will not overlook its own community. Good, because I was like, why are you helping foreigners and not your own country, you un-American shit? <laughs> Because that's actually what I would probably be worried about, too. Like, if I, because eventually my game company will be pretty global, too. So I would have to just simply balance everything out. So okay, as well, we know the company will bring untold charity. We're going to help. Uh, uh, let's see. Amazon, Jeff Bezos said, it's leveraging supply chain to help people survive. We change our logistics, transportation, supply chain, purchasing third-party shit to prioritize stocking and delivering essential household items like staples, so that's food, sanitizers, baby formula, and medical supplies. I also noticed that I'm actually having to restock ahead of time on my supplements. 
they're actually all sold out too. Like, like for example, Kirkland Signature Vitamin C Chewables. That's actually the best vitamin C. I mean, it tastes really good. Uh, three week delay, and then they said the estimate will now be like April first or so. So, and I have like about one and a half weeks worth of supply. So that's how far ahead I have to plan, but I will get it. So. Actually, was it vitamin C chewables that I bought? Or maybe I bought an alternative. Um, yes, it was the Kirkland Signature Vitamin C Chewables. Uh, my estimate is April 1st to April 2nd. It was previously April 6th to April 8th, Monday through Wednesday. So it's a, so it's like a little, let's say about a week earlier. Uh, hold on, I got something from... Uh, here's my case number for my stock market account. Okay, good. Yeah, because there's a fucking stuck deposit that just don't. It's like so it's not. It doesn't seem to drain my bank account, but I can't remove it either. So you know, I don't want that to cause a problem later, right? And over accident overdraft my fucking bank account. Bezos is also expanding workforce meets growing demand. We're hiring a hundred thousand new people. I assume this is worldwide, not just America. Meanwhile, Microsoft is. Helping out by saying that China is providing the infrastructure to help healthcare prepare share uh, shared access critical data. Now I do know that Mike Cernovich made a big stink about billionaires not helping out, and that's kind of true-ish, right? But I mean, the tech giants are actually helping in their way, right? Of course, they're making money off of it too, so that's why you can't throw too much shade at them. But you have assholes like Michael Bloomberg who spent a lot of money, and you notice know, he's not anywhere. Warren Buffett, where is he? You right? These these fucking rich virtue signaling f words. All right, are are just hoarding cash, you know, pieces of shit, and they like to lecture us, especially us conservatives. Like, you gotta do more to save and, uh, you know, promote unity and reduce hate. And it's like, hey, how about you fucking help us with the goddamn, you know, coronavirus shit, you know? So, yeah. But the good news is Trump is, you know, going on a rampage. He's finally taking on what we've all been saying, specifically at least Mike Cernovich suggests it. All right, like. This is a slam dunk for the Trump mega agenda. This is why we need borders. This is why we got to restrict immigration. He hasn't gone that far because the GOP establishment still has Trump largely by the balls ish. So Trump has to play along. And he also now recognizes more importantly that the cure for the coronavirus is actually going to be worse than the fucking shutdown. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be worse than the coronavirus itself because the shutdown is going to kill everybody. So. Now he's priming everybody to say, at the end of the 15-day period, actually, where is my poll? Um, wow, it still hasn't given... Jun oh, wait, I actually have it right here. Johnson Chan, not take two, no. Uh, yeah, it's overreacting. Uh, this is one hour left. See, this poll tells me right here that Trump already has is getting the same data too. All right. I mean, yeah, some people are still scared. Want more shutdown? Others are, but the vast majority of people are saying it's just fine or it's way too much. Right. So, yeah, a lot of people are now saying dial it back. At least one third, and this is the majority of the four options, say it's way too much. So, uh, so this is one nice thing about having an actual uh, Twitter account. I mean, the only reason why I got so many, I think, is because, because a, I aggressively pushed this because I really needed this data, and I also uh, farm the hashtag, so uh, people will just actually just vote on it. And um, actually, how many how many impressions did this get? Uh, not a whole lot of profile clicks, which is fine. Yeah, a lot of, all right, it was pretty good g given my shadow ban. So everything's looking pretty good. It's actually looking very, very good. Um, yeah, notice I didn't even give a shit about the New York Times. Uh, so uh, everything's in place now for, uh, you know, so he said at the, so he said 15 day period. So does that mean April 1st, right? Or is it 15 days from now? I'm not sure. I guess maybe I could try looking at this. Uh, still kind of like a lot of people that are going to why did anyone, eh, it puts us face value. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to deal with uh, China afterwards. Who spread false Chinese propaganda? Coronavirus not contagious among humans. Uh, so here's Trump Jr. Uh, sharing a Breitbart article. That's true. Um, 
Oh wow, Trump actually retweets her. Huh. So there's a malaria drug, he treat Corova, they should take a serious look at this. Uh, well at least Trump is actually taking... Oh, here we go. Uh, oh wow. Flatten the curve, not the economy. Yes. Uh, 15 days, then we isolate the high-risk groups and the rest of us get back to work before it's over for everyone else. And Trump actually retweeted a smaller per uh, a smaller, a much smaller account. God, I wish this thing would show. So that's pretty good. I recognize this person too. Forgot why, but there's, a I also found her kind of suspicious for some reason. I can't remember. All right. So, all right, so Trump clearly recognizes that uh, this thing's going to kill his presidency. So Trump definitely is 100% back in with God, and we're, 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 we're going to be just fine. So based on that, it looks like 15 days from now, approximately. The uh, problem is 15 days from now is kind of a lot, but that's why we have the relief bill. So once the fucking retard, uh, retired GOP Senate gets their act together... I think we'll be uh, okay. But the important thing, the most important person here is actually Trump. He's saying exactly the right things. He's doing the exact right things. Now it's just a matter of battling it against time. And uh, we'll just have to hope that the uh, stock markets can kind of like limp by. But, uh, <laughs> well, um, yeah, I mean, RF is going to get killed. Uh, Cephal, what? These numbers are like... Oh, wait, no, that's stupid asshole UBRS. I, I meant, um, not UBRS, that's fucking from World of Warcraft. That's UBS. All right, stupid bank. Uh, Remel, Remel. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. It's like, yeah, it's actually been pretty stable, actually. Because, like, it was supposed to be at this price on Friday, but I guess for some reason. So I think Remel should be okay, at least for today. So we're going to have to see, but... Um, my guess is, well, by the time you watch this, I mean, I mean, I'm expecting to, the Dow Jones to still take a kind of beating, but it doesn't look as bad, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Uh, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTubes at youtube.com forward slash, uh, JMC radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so we can continue growing this channel and the one on BitChute too. Uh, so some asshole subscribe and unsubscribe. It's like, what's the point, man? You know, if you're not unsubscribe, then whatever. So anyway, uh, obviously I'm done for the day. I'm going to go make food. I got to lift weights today. I've kind of considered yeah. just doing lifting weights every other day instead of two in a row, then a day break, you know? So I, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. And, um, right now I'm doing nothing. Just doing nothing. I'm just letting this shit play out. Uh, the only time I'll consider buying again is when things go all straight to hell and the Dow hits like, you know, 9,000 or whatever, 66% correction territory. But otherwise, the fundamentals are getting so much stronger, especially with Trump. So, uh, we got Democrats destroying America. This is definitely, uh, she hates Trump and she loves her and she's pitiable with my money and power. So... Uh, yeah, put on uh, their salary and get it done. So even, even, even liberals or Democrats, this person's definitely a lesbian type, right? You just you can tell by her physiognomy. Uh, I'm not going to play this clip. It's Lee Payne with Darian, Polos, and the CARES Act, playing over fiddling with the American emotions of the American people, market, healthcare, America. He looks and sounds, but you don't see that from him in most days. The majority leader. You could consider the vote. So the notion, agreement, nothing. The problem is they're doing a GOP bailout, but the problem is the Republicans are still like, yeah, we'll still give people direct money relief. Can we just get them money? Right? It's not perfect, obviously, and I definitely criticize it. So the perception amongst the normie people, especially Derek, is like, the Republicans for the first time in their lives want to give us fucking money. Can you get the fucking money? What are you doing, Nancy Pelosi? This is the second time people are getting angry at Nancy Pelosi. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this uh, dynamic pl um, plays out. Uh, I'm actually going to retweet this person. Uh, where is it? What the fuck? There we go. All right, there we go. So uh, all I have to say is, can we have our Trump bucks? Can we have our Trump bucks? 
See you all tomorrow. JMC coin, or Johnson Chan, JMC coin, 404 coin. And there is our powerful president right there. Of course, I can't get rid of the... I want to thank all of uh, the blue thing. All right, there we go. We'll, we'll, we'll do it that way.